Hi everyone, it's Miss Ann here and today I'm going to show you how to make different types of veggie dumplings. The first thing we'll have to do is make a filling for our dumplings. I'll show you how to make two different kinds of fillings, but the great thing about dumplings is that you can fill them with just about anything. Let's begin with our first option, cabbage and carrot dumplings. First, prep your veggies by peeling and grating the carrot. You can see that I've been putting my veggie scraps in a separate bowl to save for compost. Once you're done grating your carrot, set it aside in a separate bowl. Next, we want to cut a quarter of a head of cabbage. Be sure to remove the tough core, then slice the cabbage into thin pieces. Set the cabbage aside in a separate bowl once you're done slicing it. Afterwards, dice one shallot into small pieces. A shallot is similar to an onion, but it's smaller and has a milder taste. Next, we want to cook our filling. Remember, we always need an adult to do any of the cooking portion of our recipes, so be sure to have a parent or grown-up do this part. Start by heating a little bit of vegetable oil in the pan. Then add your shallot and cook for one minute. Next, add the cabbage and cook for another four to five minutes. Add a pinch of salt to the pan and continue cooking the cabbage. Next, add about a cup of grated carrots and stir to combine. Once your vegetables are done cooking, transfer it to a plate and let it cool completely before we use it as a filling. Another dumpling filling option is one of my favorites, mashed potatoes and peas. First, ask an adult to peel and boil the potatoes until they're soft. Then add a tablespoon of butter and mash the potatoes until they're fluffy. Add a cup of peas and some salt and then mix it all together. Remember to let the filling cool completely before we use it for our dumplings. Now that you've made a filling, it's time to fold dumplings. Take one dumpling wrapper and put it in the palm of your hand. Add one tablespoon of your filling of choice to the center of the dumpling wrapper. Now, using your fingertips, wet the edge of the dumpling wrapper with some water. Next, you're going to fold the dumpling in half. Be sure to seal the edges and squeeze out any air pockets. It might be a little bit tricky at first, but with more practice, you'll soon become a dumpling folding expert. Congratulations, you've made your first dumpling. There are many ways to fold a dumpling. I'll show you three other ways if you'd like to practice different styles. Every dumpling begins with the same first step of adding a tablespoon of filling in the center, wetting the edges, and then folding it in half. I also like to pat down the dumpling to make sure that I remove any air pockets and remember to always be sure to seal the edges. Next, you can add two folds to either side of the dumpling. This will add a little bit of detail and make your dumpling look a little bit fancier. A 
Okay, here is another option for dumpling folding. We're doing the same steps again by folding it in half and crimping the edges together. Now, if you want to get even fancier, you can fold all along the edge of the dumpling so it'll kind of look like a fan. Make sure you press the edges down well so the wrapper stays in place. One more way you can fold your dumpling is by joining the ends together and forming a circular dumpling. So again, we begin with the same steps of folding the dumpling wrapper in half and then crimping the edges. Next, I want to get the two ends of the dumplings and have them meet together. I do this by pushing the center of the dumpling down a little bit and then just squeezing it together so that it meets at the end there. You can add a little bit of water to the dumpling wrapper to help it stick. Once you're done folding all your dumplings, it's time to cook them. Here are two different ways you can cook your dumplings. One way to cook your dumplings is by pan frying it. First, you'll want to begin by adding a little bit of oil to a pan over medium heat. Let the oil heat up a little bit before you add your dumplings. Now add your dumplings to the pan in a single layer, and careful not to let them touch because they can stick together. This style of dumpling is often called pot stickers because one side of the dumpling will stick to the bottom of the pan. Once you've arranged your dumplings, let them fry in the pan for about two minutes so that they can get a nice crispy edge. Next, add about three tablespoons of water to the pan and then cover it with a lid. This will steam the dumplings and help cook the rest of the dumpling. Now, remove the lid and let the dumplings cook for about one more minute before transferring to a plate. Another way to cook dumplings is by boiling them in water. All you have to do is add your dumplings into boiling water. You'll know when they're done cooking when they start to float to the top. You could also cook your dumplings in a veggie broth and then eat the dumplings in the soup. Once they floated to the top, you can remove them from the water and put them in a bowl and let them cool. Now that you've made your dumplings, you can eat them with a dipping sauce, which can be as simple as just using soy sauce. Here I added two tablespoons of soy sauce. I also like to add rice vinegar to my dipping sauce, so I'm going to add one tablespoon of rice vinegar. I'm also going to add just a splash of sesame oil. Now, after all that hard work, it's time to enjoy your dumplings. Bon appetit!